Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's Independence Day weekend. Everybody calls this the 4th of July, but this is a celebration of our independence. It's not a celebration of the day that is July 4th. I know that because when I was 13, I was in Greece on July the 4th, and I thought, how did I miss this? Where, where's all the fireworks? What's every, nobody celebrating? And I realized, oh yeah, it's just another day for them. Independence Day is March 25th in Greece. So uh, happy Independence Day weekend. So much better this year than last year. Although being on the lake was great because so many people said if we have to quarantine, we might as well quarantine on a boat. And that was awesome. So we had a lot of fun. A lot of people, concerts, fireworks, uh, all kinds of things going on on the lake. It was great. So we're gearing up for a big weekend with a lot of people to show up. And uh, I wanted to make one of my favorite quick and easy desserts. It's, it's quick and easy to make. It does take some time in the freezer, so don't make it last minute. But this is a lemon icebox pie. And it is so good. If you like lemon, so, so good. What? What are you looking at? So if you like lemon and pie, and who doesn't like pie, this is so good. And it's so easy to make. It just takes a few minutes to throw together and then put it in the freezer and leave it there until you're ready. Until <laughs> you're ready to, <laughs> Miss, misunderstood's over there messing with me. Uh, leave it in the freezer until you're ready to, to, to eat it because it thaws out pretty quickly, but it is tasty and delicious. And I'm glad the camera is facing that way because you just saw misunderstood being her silly little self. <laughs> so the ingredients for this are, and you have to play with this just a little bit. It's, it's a little confusing. Uh, sometimes you make a little more, sometimes you make a little less. I have a big tub of whipped topping. If you do have somebody who is uh, diabetic and you wanna make a low sugar, I haven't found sugar-free lemonade, but I would suspect that you could use some concentrate of the uh, sugar-free lemonade mix and make up your own kind of concentrate for that. But you can get sugar-free sweetened condensed milk and sugar-free whipped topping. And uh, it doesn't mean it's low fat or necessarily anything else, but it is. it would be low sugar. I get two crusts, graham cracker crusts, Sometimes you can do as many as three with this big tub. The small tub does two, but not exactly full. So I always get a bigger tub and then I have extra. They used to have the smaller cans of the, of the lemonade, but now I can't find them anywhere. In fact, I couldn't even find the lemonade at my first grocery store that I went to. I had to go to another store to get this. So the frozen lemonade mix, I use a big can, but I don't use the whole can because that's just too much. So I use about two thirds of a can and um, then one can of sweetened condensed milk, mix it all together, dump it in, put it in the freezer. It's just that simple. A Couple of key things to note here. With both of these, you wanna let, because these are frozen, you wanna let them thaw so that you can mix them up good. Uh, the, the lemonade is not difficult because it thaws pretty quickly. And once you can see there's a chunk in there, I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a chunk in there that's still frozen, but I can pour some of that off, no problem. What you have to be aware of or be careful of is that this, while it is now good and thawed out, it feels like I bet there's still some frozen stuff in the middle. Uh, yep, that just happened. If you let this sit out too long, it goes flat. The, the air puffs out of it and it just turns into a bowl of mush and it's, it's not good. So you don't wanna let it sit for too awful long. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so I started, uh, I'm gonna start out with the whip topping. And I'm just gonna take big dollops of it. Yeah, it's a little, little firm there in the center, but I can get a bunch of it out right now. And it thaws out really quickly. And uh, I'm not going to use all of it because I don't really need all of it. Uh, this is more than two, but not quite three. If you do a full one, it'll be three. And um, use the old church key and open up. Oh, boy. 
That wasn't as big a... <laughs> that was kind of anticlimactic right there. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and just take the top off. The, the opener that I had wasn't my usual old church key. And it didn't open a very big hole in that. So... This, and then we'll rinse this off real quick like Let me set it over here and this is a little oh it's gonna fit good thought this was gonna be a little too big to fit in the can I used the biggest silicone spatula that I had. I don't say it's spatula, but somebody who can be hard to understand in this household does use that terminology. So this was full, as you saw earlier. Um, trying to get about two thirds of it out. probably about right and I'll just uh, mix it up and give it a quick taste test and if it needs more by then that will have thawed out a bit so I just kind of fold it this needs to thaw just a bit I'm gonna grab a cold beer blue moon good stuff like I said this doesn't take long to thaw out unless you just happen to live next door to the grocery store and it's still frozen when you get home. But even then, just leave it on the counter for maybe up to a half an hour. If it's really frozen, I left mine out maybe 10, 15 minutes and I live about that far from the grocery store. You can see a few lumps in it still. I'm gonna press those out a little bit and then just taste it and then fill up the uh, the crust oh yeah mm. yum so good and it's really forgiving if you get your ingredients off by a little bit it's not a big deal. Not a big deal. So um, if you can't find exactly the sizes that I use, don't be afraid to just throw these things together in roughly the same kind of uh, ratio. My sister-in-law will just about paint the house if I'll make my chicken uh, chicken pot pie, which I haven't done yet, but I will one day. Or, and and uh, this lemon ice box pie. She'll about do any kind of task or chore that I have for some lemon ice box pie. And the deal is I have to make two, which I always do anyway, because she wants to have a piece here when she's done with the task, and then she has to take one home. And you know who you are. So I'm just gonna get it on here and smooth it out. And because there's no raw egg or anything in here, man, it's raining good out there. Actually, I should have. <laughs> 
I should have smoothed those out before I attacked the spatula because I still have to smooth these out a little bit. <laughs> oh, I got a little ahead of myself. I am prone to do that. All right. Put them in the freezer. The longer you can leave them there, the better. Absolute bare minimum two hours. They take longer to freeze than most things. So give them plenty of time. They'll freeze up solid. And then when you go to serve them, they will thaw out pretty quickly. So kind of be aware of that. But we'll do that next. He will. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie? <laughs> You know it's good if you don't even say nothing, you just keep it. Right. So, Lemon Ice Bites Pie, everybody. This is Misunderstood and the Captain. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like it. And if you have any comments, ask us questions. We'd love to answer them. Captain made it, not me. Mmm. Mmm.